Okay, a new one from RV Rebel Girl in, uh, you know, Arizona. Anyway, she, and v, she tells us that she's actually was looking for a plots of land, maybe to buy a plot of land. And uh, apparently the road to the area was a little too uh, sketchy for her liking, and she turned it down. But we see a lot of these nomads that are you know, looking for plots of land and uh, sometimes shacks and houses and whatever. I don't know. Anyway, interesting revelation there from RV Rebel Girl. As she, I guess, is traveling now. She said in her at the end of this video that she was in uh, near Tucson and uh, it, uh, parking at a truck stop to get a few, um, what do they call it, a few winks. Take it, get a couple winks, you know, what do they call it? Snoozing, snoozing, sleeping. <sniffs> anyway, as best you can in a noisy truck stop. Anyway, um, so anyway, interesting. Anyway, maybe she'll be buying some land someday in this area, I don't know. Uh, there's always Oz Acres, but then again, you're up in Flagstaff, and it's chilly up there, and it's snowy up there in the winter time. I don't know, man. Rosie there, uh, stopping on her way to Vegas. She's in Bakersfield when this uh, live stream, 35-minute live stream, went down earlier today, and she's just tired. She's tired of the bottom of YouTube. It gets, keeps getting lower and lower and lower. All the, the weirdos and the trolls and everything else, and... Uh, you know, she's, been, she's a veteran of YouTube. She's been on YouTube for many, many years. You know, she says she has no secrets. Everybody knows everything about her. Yeah, but big whoop, but she still, she keeps talking about how it just keeps getting lower and lower and lower in terms of the, uh, the nastiness. And, you know, I don't know. That is one of the reasons why, you know, the IRL people, you know, she's a nomad, but she's also an IRLer, meaning... You know, she puts a lot of real life up there, okay? She's not just little short videos. She's doing sometimes four or five hour live streams, walking around at home, in her backyard, cooking, whatever, hanging out with her friends. Uh, the breakups that she has with some of those friends, including the, you know, ELVIS that's still going on. And anyway, um, yeah, so it's just, hey, you know, I don't know. You know, I always, <clears throat> you wonder about the people that put so much of their life on the road I mean, on, on the road, on the road and online. Look at this, uh, Vlogger Puppet's also a little um, little fun stuff there. I haven't, I unsub from him, and uh, now that he's actually talking about people I'm familiar with, I kind of, I kind of uh, started watching him again. So I don't know, it's on and off, you know. Anyway, good video here from Van City Van Life. Things don't go always as planned. He's got his mom living there in the Vancouver area, and mom needed some help. So he's, uh, you know, a loyal, loving son, and he came to mom's aid, and, uh, you know, and, uh, yeah, so he had to take an extra shower, though, because mom, mom likes to smoke in the house, and, and he, he, yeah, and he got, you know, he was like, hey, have you done that? You go hang, you know, you know I, I have some, fr I, I know people that like to smoke a lot, and yeah, you hang out with them, and, uh, <coughs> and then you come back away from your little soiree with them right and oh you got to wash all your clothes because everything smells like cigarettes right anyway van city van life real life happens while you're out there building your youtube channel and you got to take a day even though you keep filming everything you got to take a day and handle some family issues and so mom's okay and uh and anyway so very good for that so anyway van city van life Every day is another drama. Every 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 day drama. Every drama never ends. Uh, Dana there, full tiny house, had to make an urgent care visit. Um, some you know distress. <coughs> you know here and you know not you know respiratory stuff. Anyway, you know it wasn't the V. Don't worry, no. But it is true. The, one of the problems that a lot of folks have in the quartzite area, in the wintertime especially, is the, what's called valley fever. You just, you, you're, you know, people from other parts of the country that don't, are not, you know, don't live there all the time, they come back, they come down there and there's a lot of mold. There's mold in the dust. You breathe a lot of dust in, it's a very dusty area, and you breathe in this stuff and some people just get really nasty, <coughs> you know, <coughs> that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, full tiny house. Uh, Dana there had to rush off to the urgent care. She's okay. Everything's cool. But a little bit of a scare there for her. You wonder, you know, and it's again, this, this crazy time. 
<laughs> That's good. <laughs> the pug with the, <laughs> the glasses on. Um, you know, it's scary. Every time you get a little thing down, <clears throat> is this it? Is this it? I don't know. You know, and then, you know, I remember having that in, uh, the, in the spring here in North Carolina. It is very, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, allergy stuff. And you wonder every time you wake up in the morning, is, is this it? Ew. Oh, dear. What's that? <laughs> Sclop. That's a gloppy looking salad. <laughs> it's like peach, peaches on there. No, that's oranges. I don't know. It's either peaches or oranges. Anyway, uh, there's the crew. The beautiful uh, giant parking lot at Quartzsite. The dust. And, uh, and, and you know, hay. And the d dust and dogs. Anyway, so uh, full tiny house still hanging out. And uh, okay. We're trying to uh, recognize everybody's rings, but uh, since they don't put their name in pick, I think there should be a requirement that if you're a, a YouTube nomad, you should put your giant face and giant lettering of what your channel is so we can tell who's who. You got a new one from Fate Unbound. Don't freeze insulating your RV with for winter with Reflectix. <sighs> Cruising the Cut. It's a British dude who uh, rides around in his... Uh, in his narrow boat there on the various canals all around England, uh, how he gets Wi-Fi internet access. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thomas family life continuing raising. They, they got, they're getting chickens, I think Cornish hens or something like that. And they had a couple pass away the other day, and now they've got some baby, more babies coming. So I don't know. How to set up a camping porta potty hmm, from Simple Life Big Adventures. Uh, some doggy drama there from uh, Camper Van Kenny. Lots of dogs in this one. <laughs> uh, Derek, uh, Derek, uh, Derek, what's his name? Yeah, par parodic, right, that's funny. Uh, he's uh, there, uh, takes more, so I guess some trips from his uh, little house there. Little house on the uh, Illinois prairie. And uh, he, he wears a, a Christmas sweater, and he checks out some filming locations, and he gets a $42 motel room. And uh, all right, uh, so there. <laughs> letters. Got a few letters here to tide this one over. Uh, squeaky RV sales while pumping gas this morning. The guy said to me, if that, hose, if that hose ain't long enough, you can use mine. Not sure what he meant. <laughs> and Beantown says people just want to hear... Me yap. Blah, 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 blah. It really makes no difference if the video clips can be shown or not. Most times I'm not even looking at my screen during your show. I'm only listening. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh. <laughs> then he quotes the Smiths. <laughs> Some girls' mothers are bigger than other girls' mothers. That's a good song. Yeah, I love the Smiths. Uh, oh, P.D. Mackey. Or is it F.D. Mackey? I think it's F.D. Mackey. While watching and listening to my one of my recent videos from yesterday, he, he's, he or she says they ran across a video from, a, a comment from Janice Lala that said, it rang the bell with me, so to speak. It suddenly dawned on me that I unsubscribed and or stopped watching videos from a number of quote unquote nomads because they all seem to be visiting the, sl the same damn places if not at the same time, then, with a few, then within a few days or weeks of each other and posting clones of each other's videos and I became very bored with them. And the e-begging just turned me off. This is a big country and just because the Grand Canyon are there, is there or either the Disney parks for that matter among all their tourist traps does not mean that there are lesser known, well visited, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Basically everybody's doing the same thing. Yeah, how many, you know, we see this nomads doing the same things over and over and over, and and they do. They want to. They have to crank out x amount of content, a video every day, a video every other day, two videos a week, whatever their content is. And yeah, you know, they turn to, you know, cooking. They turn to doing touristy things. You know, they turn to, uh, you know, how to, you know, camera equip. What about camera equipment? The Q and A, showing the pets running around. You know, they, yeah. And a lot of people are doing that right now because, you know, a lot of these nomads are down in the Arizona area where they, apparently they got some rain last night. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see some of the videos about that. Anyway, so, yeah, uh, you know, they're all doing the same thing over and over again. We get that problem with December and January. It's not going to end anytime soon.
just said it was Elvis pres. It was Elvis. It just said it was Elvis's birthday today. No, it isn't. It's January eighth. Oh, oh, you mean that Elvis <laughs> Copeland, <laughs> the Pat Coat or Pat Cote, Pat, whatever. I watch you to find new channels to watch. You got me started on watching different nomads. They should be looking at my channel as free advertising. 98.9% .9 of the people do. And, you know, there's always, there were always a bunch of people that, you know, hey, I'm helping you build your channel. Everything's cool. Go ahead and cover my channel. And then all of a sudden, they change, you know. And, you know, that's, that's what happens. And for some reason now, don't touch me. I'm not usually big on the cooking stuff, but uh, Warren Weisman says we love you, Bex, and we love your cooking. That looked good. I mean, that the way she prepared that bass, I think it was bass, and put the put the uh, the the Cajun seasoning on it and the butter, and then cooked it up. And the, oh man, that looked delicious. I, my mouth was really watering. We're talking about nomads who are using Planet Fitnesses to uh, shower and how difficult it can be in this pandemic with all the different regulations in different towns and that you know some of these uh, fitness places are closed or partially open as chrome said today you have to make appointments uh, odd 17b says a planet fitness shower is nothing to brag about the water fluctuates greatly from freezing cold to scalding hot it's a horrible experience that alternates from trying to avoid athletes foot to scrambling for privacy you're better off paying twelve dollars at a low at a loves oh a loves right a loves truck stop for a shower and dodging hypodermic needles and pee bottles in the parking lot. Ooh, such a glamorous life. Um, Pewter Chick Production says I am going to say that YouTube Money Quest, that the YouTube Money Quest to get people to donate for them sitting on their butts and no content. At least if you're a nomad, you got to provide content. There are some good nomads that do good content. Absolutely. There are many, many, many good channels out there that are worth watching, and we're trying to help you. We're all going through this together. Figure out which ones are, you know, you know, good, you know, good and bad. And then there's different kinds of good. There are, yeah, there are nomad channels where they do provide very good information on how to do all this stuff and how to fix things and all that. And then there are other nomad channels that are, in a way, so bad they're good. They're just so awful that you gotta laugh and they're like parody channels you know what i'm saying you know the channels i'm talking about they're just so gosh darn bad that they're fun to watch and the characters have actually become parody characters you know what i'm saying yeah and, and you know that you know there's a, that certain person we don't talk about you know you gotta realize that probably 80 percent of her viewers are just sitting there getting a couple of chuckles whenever she posts, you know, it's just, what, <laughs> I don't know. All right, everybody, that ought to do it for the 10th of uh, December, 2020, our second video of the day. You all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I'll chat with you later and we'll figure out something pretty soon with the Cami Awards, okay? It's, we'll, we'll get to, we're gonna do the uh, categories probably starting this weekend and working through next week. We'll let you know, okay? But it's coming soon, so stay tuned. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Vlog on.